Welcome to Undefeated Sports Football Specific Training. Welcome to today's lesson. Now today I'm going to start off with a warm up. I have 10 10 yard sprints followed by catching. Now we're really going to work our conditioning in the beginning along with a good warm up to make sure my body is ready to go along with working my ball handling skills. Let's get started. So for the next drill you have is we're going to work our ATLI bell breaks. So just like the previous session, we worked the ATLIs, now we're going to work in the bell position. This is really going to work your change of direction, your quickness, along with your eye discipline, along with ball handling skills. Let's get to work. You be the best you. Let's push yourself to the best you can. Let's go. So for explaining the setup for the first drill that we have, as you can see the cones behind me, it's in a shape as a box. So these two cones right here are going to be around six and a half yards apart. And these, from this cone to the back cones will be around eight and a half to 10 yards apart. It varies between how long of a distance you would like to work. So if you want to work a shorter distance, feel free to shorten the cones. If you want to work a longer distance like I am, feel free to make it longer. So explaining the first drill, we have a bell and we're planting off our left foot. So we're starting on the right side of the box. We're belling here. We're running. As soon as we hear break, we're planting off this left foot and we're driving to that cone. Remember, we've got to work our eye discipline. So when we plant here and drive, we got to stare at that cone for about five strides and then come up and look for the ball. That's how we're going to work on finishing through our opponent. Now for the beginning right here, the bell part is an initial pivot step. So just like basketball, how you pivot and you can't lift this foot off the ground, you want this right foot stuck in the ground. So another tip to make it easier is you want to curl the curl your toes in your cleats and that'll help your foot stay grounded and pivot. So right here, simply boom. That's the first step. We're opening up. Now from here, we're crossover running. So we're here, 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 here. 
Now we're at the plant. Now, as you can see my foot right now, the plant break, it's about like at a 45 degree angle. So it's here. We don't want to plant necessarily with our foot straight ahead. We want our foot at a 45 degree angle. When I break, we want the toe pointing to our target and we're driving through five strides, coming up, finishing through. Now this direction applies for each and every drill that we have today. So if we're on the left side and we're going eight to the right now, we're starting here, boom, I'm bailing, feet doesn't pick up, crossover run, crossover run, crossover run, plant, 45 degree plant, boom, break, toe pointing the target, so are my eyes, I'm staring at the target for five steps, then I come up, then we catch the ball. Bill, break, whoa, Bill, break, ball. Nice hands, nice up. Bill, break, ball. Bill, break, ball. Now going on to the T drill. So I'm on the right side first, cause we're going to the left. Boom, pivot, same thing as the other drills. Crossover, 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 break. Now on this break, we want our foot straight ahead because we're breaking in a straight line now. So we're not coming back down. So on the plant foot, we need it pointing to our target. So wherever way you're planting, that's the way you want your foot pointing. We're here, we're pivot stepping. Remember, what we don't want to do is turn like that. We want this foot in the ground. And here's the reason why. We have an opponent in front of us and we pick our foot up our hips are now open and we're out of control. So if the opponent goes back inside of us, my hips are locked and there's no way I can recover. But if I keep this foot in the ground, boom here, and he goes inside, boom. I could recover just like that. That's why we wanna never pick the foot up because we don't know which way the opponent is going. Is he going inside? Is he going outside? Is he going straight? But if you come here and he goes inside, boom. I'm here. If he goes straight, boom, I'm here. If he goes inside, we go boom, boom, I'm here. Or it'll be, oh, I'm open, I'm here. So that's why we take that first step because it's gonna keep us patient and allow us to diagnose the receiver's actions. Now we have a T to the right, so it's the same thing. This outside foot is gonna be the bell foot, so we're belling to the inside. We're always belling to the inside, so if I'm here, inside. If I'm on this side, we're belling to this inside. Plant foot doesn't move, it's stuck in the ground. Boom, I'm here, open, open, open. Plant right here, my foot is straight, break. Toes is pointing, sprinting five yards through, looking at my target, then we come up catch the ball. Bill, break! Bill, break! So now for the L drill. Same mechanics as each and every drill. That's why I love this drill. You have to stay disciplined with your technique and it should look identical for the initial part of the steps. So we're here, boom, I'm open, pivot foot, crossover, crossover, crossover. Notice my eyes, I'm still looking at the target. That's why the cone is there, our imaginary target. Now when we hear break, boom, you're planting here. And my lead foot is going up shoulder. And we're going at a high post angle. And this is called the L drill. So the L drill is gonna work the post routes, stuff like that. The A plants will work the China routes, the hitch route, the T routes will work it in, out, all those China choice routes. So pay attention. We're not doing these drills just for the drills. These are imaginary routes from the route tree that we'll be getting from our opponents. Bill, break! Bill, break! Bill, break! Bill, break! So explain the setup for the eye part of the drill. As you can see, I have a cone here. It is about 30 yards apart from the passer, as you can see. So the passer would be down there towards the white line, the sideline. The cones right here is about 30 yards apart. Now remember, you can change the length up due to your discretion. So if you wanna work shorter reps, in which I do sometimes, you can shorten it to 15 yards. If 
you want to work a little bit more conditioning and hip movements and explosiveness, then feel free to lengthen it. So the decision is up to you. So now we're on to the eye drill. So we're going to start here. Now we're going to start to the right first. So what we're going to do is pivot to the right. So if we're pivoting to the right, we're going to pivot off this left foot. So it's going to be here. Along with the same mechanics, we're going to pivot here, crossover, 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 run. And on the break, we're simply whipping our head around and run at full speed. And remember, during that drive phase, we got to take five hard steps, then look up and catch the ball. Bow. Break. <clears throat> For the next drill, we're gonna work our ball handling skills. So we're gonna work different variations of catching the ball, catching it, holding it for a one-two count, and tucking it in various positions. So let's get to work. You continue to push yourself and be the best that you can. And remember, if you mess up, discipline yourself and redo the drills. Let's go. So for the first drill, I'm gonna have 10 catches, catching head on, holding for a one-two count, and then I'm gonna tuck. Now in between each catch, I'm gonna tuck in different hands. So the first rep, I'll tuck to the right. Second rep, I'll be tucking to the left, and so on and so forth for the rest of the 10 reps. Let's get started. Make sure my tuck is fast. I gotta be good. Yeah, yeah. Hold it though. Tuck. For the next drill, I'll be catching it to my left side. So we're gonna start in the open position like this. You throw the ball, I'll be catching it right here. Same thing, hold for one, two count, but this time we're bringing it, tucking it to our left hand. So I'm here, ball coming, one, two, tuck, 10 reps. So now you'll be doing the same thing, but now to the opposite side. So we're to our right side now. We're running in place, ball come, catch, one, two, count, follow the ball then with your eyes. And we're tucking to that right hand, each and every rep, 10 reps total. Next set, you'll be catching the ball with the right hand, with one hand for 10 reps. Catch the ball, one, two count, tuck to the right hand. So we're doing 10 catches, 10 right tucks for 10 reps.
Now you have the same thing, but step on the opposite side. So we're doing 10 reps, 10 catches with the left hand, and we're tucking to the left for 10 reps. There you have it. So that was our catch variation drills right there. We did a lot. So remember each of them, we had 10 sets. Remember focus on the one, two count, then we're tucking it and we're following the ball through with our eyes each and every rep.